Okay, hey guys, so today we're doing the evolution of Truly Me, just because I thought it would be really fascinating, so let's get into it. The original idea for Truly Me was American Girl of Today, a modern doll with a customizable look and personalities. It was first released in 1995, also I'm really sorry if you can hear my grandfather vacuuming up there, <laughs> with 20 dolls. The first wave had the Addy, the Classic, and the Just Like You number 4 molds because Josefina wasn't released until 1997. They came in a, might I add, ugly yellow jacket with a striped shirt, black pants, and little shoes. The dolls also had self-help books, outfits, dress like your dolls, like the other historical dolls, and little things like pins and badges and whatnot. In 2006, we got a name change to Just Like You. By now, the modern dolls had expanded and they added more dolls, new outfits, and a new meat outfit as well, which we'll get into later. In 2010, it was named My American Girl. Then in 2015, it got a modern name, it got its modern name, Truly Me. It switched to My American Girl to coincide with the release of Interstar University, an online game where your dolls could go to school, change outfits, and play fun games. Sadly, in 2015, the game was shut down and the dolls were soon rebranded to the new Truly Me. If you want a more in-depth video on Inner Star U, I'll link Alley Cat Loves AG's video down below. It's an amazing in-depth look at the games and the history and its legend. In 2022, we saw the newest update to the modern American Girl doll line with its rebranding of Truly Me. The name stayed the same, but the old dolls were retired and we got 20 new ones. There was quite a bit of controversy with the rebrand from the unnatural hair colors to the cheap outfits to the thinner, cloddy bodies. But I do have to say I'm glad they went back to their roots with all the All About Us books, which you can really give your doll a name, a personality, and make them your best friend, like the old meat books were. Okay, now that we have the basic history, let's take a look at all the meat outfits over time and then I'll share some final thoughts. Okay, so the first outfit was of course the ugly yellow one, that's just my opinion, I mentioned earlier. But in 1998 we got the new and improved red vinyl outfit, which might I add is like my favorite to this day. In 2000 we got the urban outfit with the very 2000s long skirt and buckle shoes. Then in 2002 we got the go anywhere outfit, it's nothing special to me. In 2004 we got the ready for fun outfit which is my favorite. I love the sweater and the pants and it's really cute. It just shows the quality dropping over time. Then in 2008, we got the star hoodie outfit, which I feel like I see everywhere and I myself own quite a few copies of, even though I never bought a doll in that time. Then in 2010, we got the real me outfit. Nothing to say about that. Um, 2012, we got the true spear outfit, another adorable one I see a lot. 2015, we got the lilac dress, it's basic and boring. And then finally, in 2017, we got the Truly Me outfit, which has its updated pink version as well. Last but not least, in 2022, we got the new four outfits, all boring, all kind of basic, just shirt dresses. We have the show your strong side, show your artsy side, show your sweet side, and show your wild side. Okay, and now we're getting on to part three, the last part, which is my favorites and memories. Well, I'm sorry if the vacuuming gets louder, it's because he's moved to like the second level of the house, which is where I am. Anyway, the phenomenon that is the number four is crazy. If you don't know it, then you've been living under a rock. She is extremely hard to find because she is the only one with her face mold, but she's actually really cute and if you have the chance to buy her, you totally should. Another big thing in the truly me just like you realm is the colored hair dolls. Some hate it, some love it, and I could care less. Started in 2021 with the Street Chic dolls, we now have six with very bright colored hair, not including the ones with highlights. And I don't know, man. I got nothing to say about them. Okay, so the last couple dolls I want to talk about are just specific numbers, and we're going to start with number 46, which is the Gabriella doll. It was originally released in 2009 and then retired in 2016. For those of you unaware, that means there was only one year between the retirement of that doll and the re-release of Gabriella, the Girl of the Year. Many people were upset by the first Black American Girl of the Year being a reused 46, and rightfully so. Beautiful doll, but they should have made Tenny the Girl of the Year that year and put more effort in. 
because it really shows. Also, Tenny was pretty much the girl of the year. It's the one everyone remembers. Another one that is very memorable is what I already talked about, number four. This would be a unique and adorable looking doll. Number 28, I have this one in my collection. She is Sadie. I love her shorter hair and she's just so sweet looking. Then we have number 28. Nope, I already said that, but I'm not gonna take that clip out because I'm lazy. Okay, and then we have number 49. She is the one that everyone calls Skylar with those bright blue eyes and she's beautiful. And then number 57 is another short haired one. With the re-release and everything going on with Truly Me, there isn't a lot of short haired dolls anymore and I honestly think we need more. Like how many 10 year olds have hair down to their butt? Last one of the number dolls I want to talk about are the bald ones. I'm still waiting on the ones with the vitiligo and the amputees, but the bald ones are a great start. Number 10 is also adorable, the only Jessmo with blonde hair that I know of. And lastly, our girl number 116, the new Murray Grace mold. Now, I'm not a fan of Murray Grace mold, but I do love this doll, and her hair actually isn't terrible. If you style it right and pair it with a good outfit, she's pretty darn cute. And that's it. That's the history of Truly Me, so far. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a wonder day, wonder, wonder, a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.